There was a time when DaBaby had it all. Tons of awards and nominations, many hit songs high on the charts, and to top it all off, in May 2021, he surpassed Drake as the rapper with the most monthly streams on Spotify. But it looks like those times are long gone. Now DaBaby may be on the verge of losing everything. And are we really surprised, guys? Even since before he became famous, DaBaby has been involved in one controversy after the other, creating for himself a reputation of being kind of problematic. From fighting with hotel and bagel shop employees to literally taking the life of another man, DaBaby's past is more disturbing than you may think. Well, I mean, every time I see DaBaby, he's either in an altercation with somebody. Uh. It's either a fight going on or... Is it a fight or is it protecting himself? The first ever criminal record in DaBaby's story is from 2013 when he was 21 years old and he was arrested for possession of controlled substances. And this was only the beginning of a long and ongoing history of misbehavior. After this first arrest, many others came, some of them for more severe offenses than others. In February 2014, DaBaby was arrested for window tinting and that same year he was caught driving without a license. And before the year was over, he was arrested yet again for possession of controlled substances. But guys, all of this is nothing compared to what comes next. Pure chaos inside this Walmart in Huntersville off Highway 115. Around 6 Monday night, a police officer working inside the store heard a gunshot and called for backup. In November 2018, DaBaby was at a local Walmart in Huntersville, North Carolina with his two kids, aged 1 and 5 years old, and their mother. According to reports, the family was at the baby section of the supermarket when two men approached them. These two men, according to DaBaby's testimony, wanted to check him and asked him to go outside. DaBaby said that these men's attitude and the fact that they had their hands in their pockets as if they were holding a gun immediately immediately made him fear for his family. The rapper thought he was going to be robbed, so he fired his gun against one of the men who ended up losing his life. The man was 19-year-old Jalen Craig. And guys, according to his family, what happened is entirely different from what DaBaby is saying. According to them, the true story is that Jalen saw the rapper at the store and got excited, so he decided to approach him. But DaBaby became very upset, and after arguing, ended up firing his weapon against him. As you guys can see, it's hard to say which one of these two versions of the same story is true, but DaBaby has always claimed that he had acted in self-defense, and apparently the footage from the security cameras back up his story. But moving on, a few days after this Walmart incident, DaBaby uploaded an Instagram story offering his condolences to the teenager's family. My heart's still beating, you know, and uh, condolences goes out to the to the other parties involved. DaBaby was charged for carrying a concealed gun, and if you think of it, it's a little weird that the rapper went to Walmart to buy winter clothes for his kids with a gun and ready to fire it. Anyway, the charges against DaBaby were eventually dropped to the dismay of Jalen's family. I'm sure you guys would think that an incident like this where a man ends up dead would be a major event in someone's life, but the thing with DaBaby is that he became so famous and he has had so many run-ins with the law that this episode had been kind of buried in the past. And and while this circumstance was life-altering for the rapper, it wasn't by any means the last time that he would be talked about on the news. By 2019, DaBaby was already positioning himself as one of the biggest rapper out there. Through the year, he has several hit songs, including a collaboration with Megan Thee Stallion and the song Cash it looked like nothing could stop DaBaby. But on May 25th that year, he got involved in another violent conflict. That day, he and fellow rapper Cam Coldheart ran into each other in a Louis Vuitton store. Before that day, Cam had dissed DaBaby for failing to represent Charlotte, North Carolina, where they both became rappers. But when they found each other at the store that day, everything escalated. It all started with Cam taunting DaBaby as he recorded himself. Then DaBaby started recording with his own phone and things got serious. Damn, Cole. So as you can see, a fight broke between the two rappers and it ended with Cam Coldheart on the floor with a bloody nose and his pants down. After the fight, DaBaby went ahead and posted this video on Instagram with the caption, when bullying baby on the internet goes wrong. According to Cam's version of the story, he has been jumped by DaBaby and a man from his security team. Then sometime later, Cam said that the fight had been staged by DaBaby and him, but some people say that he was only trying to spare himself from the humiliation of losing so hard. But despite the 
the humiliation, this incident did give Cam some notoriety, and he started gaining a following on social media. Sadly, on April 21st, 2021, Cam passed away of unknown causes. Back to the baby. If 2019 was a very agitated year in his life, 2020 would be even worse. Among the controversies that DaBaby was involved in during 2020, we have that time he got into a fight in a bagel shop, when he was arrested for beating up the promoter from one of his shows, the time he slapped a female fan, and when he got into an altercation with the staff of the hotel he was in. It was a pretty busy year for him. So guys, the bagel shop fight was a minor incident when you compare it to all the other times DaBaby felt the need to beat up someone. <laughs> <laughs> but this next incident is considerably more serious. In January 2020, DaBaby and some members of his crew met one of the rapper's promoters. This promoter owed DaBaby 30k for a show he had played in Miami, but apparently he showed up with only 20k, and DaBaby didn't like that at all. According to different outlets, DaBaby and his crew jumped at the promoter, beat him up, took $80 and a credit card from this man's wallet, and also his iPhone 7. And this is not very professional if you ask me, but at this point, everyone knew that the composure and self-control are not among DaBaby's best qualities. Anyway, when this happened, DaBaby was charged with battery and he had to spend 48 hours in jail. What a way to start 2020, right? And there was still much more to come that year for the rapper. In March 2020, while he was giving a concert in a nightclub in Florida, DaBaby lashed out at a female fan and slapped her after she shown the flash of her phone at his face. Obviously, you guys, people were shocked and disgusted by this, so they quickly started booing DaBaby and he left the venue immediately after. Then the baby went on Instagram to apologize. Kind of. I'm very sorry that there was a female on the other end of that flashlight on that phone. But you know, keep in mind, I couldn't see you because you got the flash this close to me. But what is it with this apology? If there's been a man on the other side of the phone, that wouldn't make what he did any less wrong. Anyways, DaBaby's next altercation happened on December 19th, 2020, when he slammed a man into a wall in a hotel in Beverly Hills. After this incident hit the news, DaBaby's lawyer said that whatever DaBaby did, he did in self-defense. But according to witnesses, that man was only a hotel employee who wanted a picture with a rapper. And guys, I saw the footage on the surveillance video, and to be honest, that hotel employee does not look threatening, and he does not look like he was bothering DaBaby. If you ask me, it seemed like DaBaby is just always looking for a chance to lash out at people. As I told you, this happened at the end of 2020, but if you thought that DaBaby's New Year's resolution was to get into less trouble, you're wrong. On April 17th, 2021, DaBaby uploaded an Insta story making fun of a flight attendant's hair. He filmed her, wrote a caption suggesting that she had just jumped out of bed, and as if that wasn't terrible enough, he literally made fun of her out loud. We go pay all of it. You go comb your hair. The least you could do. At the least you can do. And this is just downright cruel, you guys. And I know that unlike other things that DaBaby has done, this is not a crime or anything, but it's just extremely disrespectful. It also says a lot about who DaBaby is as a person. After this happened, and as you guys may probably already know, DaBaby has been involved in several other controversies that are putting him and his career on thin ice. First, he collaborated with Tory Lanez, even though he had allegedly hurt Megan Thee Stallion in July 2020. This is so so insensitive because Megan and DaBaby were friends and they have collaborated a couple of times. Also, just consider that Megan described the Tory Lanez incident as the worst experience of her life. So the fact that DaBaby didn't care about it and still decided to collaborate with him is kind of low. To make things worse, on July 25th, 2021, during his now infamous performance at Rolling Loud, DaBaby brought Tory on stage immediately after Megan finished her performance. And because of this, people quickly started saying on social media that this meant that DaBaby clearly didn't care about Megan. Variety even referred to what DaBaby did as clearly provocative, and that was not the only thing that DaBaby did wrong during that performance. I'm sure you guys already know where I'm going with this. So during that same concert I just told you about, DaBaby said some really ignorant things about transmitted diseases, women, and gay people. And guys, what DaBaby said was damaging and hurtful because it perpetuates the stigma around those living with You didn't show up today with any of them deadly transmitted diseases. 
After he said this, people obviously started calling him out. Shortly after the concert, DaBaby went on Instagram to address what happened and try to fix his mistake, but he actually made everything worse. Why? Well, he said that his gay fans don't have AIDS because they're not nasty gays or junkies. And guys, I literally have no idea of how he thought this was an okay thing to say. Obviously, this only made the backlash even worse, and soon DaBaby started losing brand sponsorships. And not only that, but as of August 2021, at least eight festivals have dropped DaBaby from their lineup for his ignorant comments. At the beginning of August, DaBaby wrote an official Instagram apology, but he deleted it a few days later. And so far, the memes about him being dropped from festivals keep coming. As you can see, DaBaby will no longer be performing at Bikini Bottom, he won't be performing on High School Musical, and he was also banned from the Dundee Awards. But while many people think this is the end of DaBaby's career, others think that he'll bounce back in no time. And to be real, if you ask me, I also believe that this will be forgotten soon or people will just stop caring. Because to be honest, that's exactly what has happened with all the other scandals DaBaby has been involved in, including the one that ended up with a 19-year-old losing his life. Anyway guys, did you know all the details about DaBaby's dark past? What do you think about his most recent controversy? Let me know in the comments below.